Hey, hey, hey! What is up, everybody? Y'all, I always got time to forget to turn my phone up. Well, hello, hello. Y'all, I said I was gonna try to remember to do this um, thumbnail thing. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna do one and see what happens. But guess what we're having today? We are having homemade chicken quesadillas. I know it looks a little crispy <laughs> on the outside, but y'all, it's so good. I got homemade, not homemade, I got fresh chicken breast in there. Seasoned real well with all types of seasonings. Um, with cheese. I, I'm gonna really put a lot of, um, other ingredients in it the next time I make it, but I just kind of kept it simple this time. But I think the next time I'm gonna do like some um, spinach and some um, some um, mixed peppers and some uh, marinated, I mean, some sauteed onions. And um, yeah, I'm gonna really do it up the next time. But this is just really something real quick because I didn't feel like doing all that other stuff to be honest. Like, this is like, I do it. But anyway, hey y'all, welcome to the Tinkers Me Eat, I miss you all, welcome to the meeting room, I am so glad to see you all, y'all, guess what else I'm going to have, I just had a taste for it, I know it's a weird combination, but I had a taste for it, I had a taste for some oodles and oodles, y'all. I'm gonna be slurping and sucking on some of those too. But anyway, y'all, before we get started, let's bless our food. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you for this beautiful day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it, Lord. We thank you for this food that we're about to receive for the nourishment of our bodies, Lord God. We thank you, Father, for the hands to prepare this food, and we pray for those for those who do not have food to eat. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Y'all, I missed y'all. I just want to just say thanks again to all my supporters and all my subscribers. The ones who subscribe, the ones who unsubscribe, the one who just watches and haven't subscribed at all. I'm just pleased to meet you and glad that you had um, an opportunity to meet me and just to kind of just, you know, come into the meeting room with me and chop it up a little bit. And I just appreciate your company. So, y'all know I have the question of the day. Can y'all see my noodles? Oh. The question of the day. Did y'all go to church today? Did you all take some time out of your day to go worship God? Give God praise? Did you pray this morning? Have you prayed this evening? Have you taken a moment to read a scripture in your Bible? If not, come on, y'all. We're going to do this together. Now, let me just um, say this. If you don't like smacking, sucking, burping, food spilling out of your mouth, and more importantly, if you don't want to hear anything about Jesus, this is not the channel for you to watch. I am a Christian mukbanger, and that's not to say that other mukbangers are not but I'm more free. I'm free with confessing my faith. Um, that's the purpose of my channel is to sow seeds into people's lives, to have a meal with you all, and to talk about some real things that happen in life. Just to talk about life, talk about whatever, talk about anything, but definitely talk about Jesus Christ. Um, and I know I probably, I may not get a lot of followers, but I'm okay with that because the ones who need to be reached will be reached. The ones who enjoy this video will watch it and subscribe. And the ones who choose not to won't. And I'm okay with that. So, anyway, now that I got that out of the way, y'all, y'all know I got my favorite, right? Boom! Sour cream. You can't have a quesadilla without sour cream. And I told y'all, I love Food Line brand food. Y'all need to check out Food Line. Now, I know some people in different um, areas do like, I think it's called Kroger's or something. Or some people do um, Giant or Shoppers or Safeway. I, I mean, I'm just at, um, I was shopping a lot of Shoppers, but when I relocated, they didn't have a Shoppers where I moved. They had a Food Line. 
So, I ended up having, you know, going in because obviously that's the closest store um, to where I live. And, yeah. So, that's where I started going. And their brand of food is really good. So, yeah. So, that's what I do. So, I'm going to put a little bit of sour cream and I'm going to show y'all what else I have, too. Some sour cream. You can't, I mean, you can't have enough sour cream. Like, yeah. I won't eat any Mexican food, tacos, whatever that has anything to do with meat and cheese inside of a taco or a soft shell without sour cream. Unless it's just beyond my control. But I got some some salsa too. I have the Chi Chi Stick and Crunchy. So good. So good. Y'all, let's take a bite. Um, and it's easy. It doesn't take long. I think they only take a literally like maybe 10 minutes to cook, like five minutes on each side, if that, depending on how, you know, how what your taste buds are like. Mm. Mm. Y'all, this is so good. And when I took that first bite, my stomach was growling. My stomach was literally growling when I took that first bite because that's how hungry I am. Mm. That's so good. I love sour cream. So apparently, y'all, I'm going to give a shout out to Roberto. Um, Roberto is somebody who watches my videos, one of my subscribers. And he always sends, he sends me a message telling me to, to burp more. He said, burps, please. Roberto, I'm going to try my best to give you a burp today. I can't make any promises. Because I typically don't make myself burp. But you know, I gotta be me, right? So, but I'm gonna keep you in mind too while I'm being me. And if I have a, if I feel it for my sha na na, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it, I'm just let it rip. How was that? Yeah, this is so good. Y'all, sometimes this month, or maybe the beginning of next month, I told you in my last video, I'm going to do some um, stuffed peppers. Mm. And I wish I could have it all over for them. Because they are that good. Now, now I'm drinking my water. And I poured a little bit of soda in the cup. Because sometimes I feel like I need something to wash it down besides water. Let's see what these noodles are doing. Y'all forgot about these, didn't y'all? I know y'all did. And I know these have a lot of salt, pine, sodium, but I'm craving them. And for y'all, for your first, if, for, if this is your first time watching my video, 
Um, I have a little story to share with people. And that is, I am with child, I'm pregnant. But I have a unique pregnancy. And I told my story, I think it was my second video I did, my second or my first. But I collaborated with my sister, who has a um, YouTube channel called 40 Plus Moms Movement. That has 40, 40 plus P-L-U-S Moms Movement. So when you get a chance, go to her channel and check her out. And look at some, you'll see me on one of her videos, and it's on my channel too, where I talked about my pregnancy and my condition. So I had a, I have a lot of weird cravings, so I just thought I'd just throw that little tidbit in there. I'm going to talk about it a little bit today too. Whew. Mm. Y'all. Y'all know how them people be slurping their noodles? Mm-mm. I might try to slurp one of these things and they come out through my nose. I'm not the one. I got. I just got to eat the way I eat. And I know people like the noises and the sounds. And and I know that's what people enjoy. And I, I if I could do it, I would. Yeah, I'm not coordinated like that. My, my, my throat not set up that way. Y'all want me to try? Y'all want me to try it? If you want to hear more slurping, when I eat noodles, like, comment in my comment section. Oh, well, y'all, don't forget to, to, to like and subscribe. And hit that notification button, too, so y'all can see when my videos are coming out. Let me see if I can try it. I hope I don't burn my mouth messing with y'all. And then when they do it, it be piping hot. Like I watched some of the um some of the um Chinese and the um Korean um mukbangers. They play no games. Cause you know noodles and stuff is a staple food for them. And they be eating them, you know, of course they have the hot and spicy and they have all kinds of different noodles and stuff, but that's like a main course of food for them. They play no games. It's hot, y'all. I can't do that. I mean, I like my food hot, but I don't want to have a burn mark in my mouth and can't eat the rest of the week. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. What did I tell you? I did that one. <laughs> I'm going to try it again. I must not have enough liquid in my mouth or something. I don't know. Enough of the juice from the noodles or something. I'm going to try one more time. Even do it if I keep trying, y'all. Y'all want me to do it one more time? I'm gonna try it one more time. I feel like you, mm, I don't know. I feel like this cup of noodles could have lasted me a lot longer if I didn't do that. But, okay. Here we go. Y'all, but I hope my, my phone don't cut off. Y'all know my, my stuff ain't right yet. <laughs> Say that every video, but if it if it does, I'm coming back. I didn't do too bad. Ooh. Yeah, I gotta give my props on that. But anyway, so yeah. So like I was saying, y'all, I have a um, 
a very unique pregnancy that's called a cryptic pregnancy. And what a, what a cryptic pregnancy is, is basically you carry your baby longer than a normal pregnancy. Now, let me just say this. There's a lot of people that don't believe that women can be pregnant longer than a certain amount of time. There's a lot of people that don't believe that my condition is possible. <laughs> um, it's a lot of people that call people with um say that women with cryptic pregnancies are delusional. We're crazy. There's no baby. There's no way a woman can be pregnant longer than nine months. And everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I don't get into all of the debates with people. I try to educate people. And I know my story. And I know my situation. And that's what I stick to. I don't spend my time trying to convince people to believe me and I don't get upset when people, you know, I've had people cuss me out, call me, call me out my name and everything because I have this condition and I'm bringing awareness to it and I'm, I'm proud of my, you know, situation. <clears throat> it's a miracle from God. And I don't, you know, you know, I just don't worry about the naysayers, you know. But I've been, I've, I've been with child now for 17 months. Matter of fact, this month is my 17th month. And so people are just like, what? She crazy. She's lying, you know. But, like I said, I got thick skin, literally. <laughs> and I don't really care about what people say or think. As long as I know my truth, you know. Because people are cruel, people are mean, people are going to say mean things. You know, we don't live in a kind, we don't live in a kind world. We don't live in a world where people are nice and sweet. I mean, not all people are mean, but y'all know what I'm talking about. And people are just hateful, you know. People are just bitter. And when people don't understand things and things that they can't comprehend and things that don't belong, that that things that go beyond their intellect and their human mind. And then everybody's crazy in their in their heads, you know. So every now and then I drop, you know, information about my pregnancy and cryptic pregnancy is basically a hormonal imbalance. And and women that have this condition, their bodies don't produce. They it does produce, but it produces a low low rate of H. Um, CG and that's the hormone. Like if you take took a pregnancy test and your pregnancy test came back positive, that's the hormone that gives you that positive test to let you know that there is something going on in your body and it's baby. Well, with cryptic pregnancy, that hormone is so low that when you take a pregnancy test and a blood test, it doesn't come back positive positive until your hormones turn normal or regulate them regulate itself. If your hormones do not regulate, you'll continue to get a pregnancy. I mean, a negative pregnancy test. You'll continue to get a in any urine test, blood test will continue to be negative. Um, 
And you know, and you just and what happens is that you stay pregnant longer than the average woman. Some women have been pregnant for uh, a couple of years. Some women have been pregnant for a year. Some women have been pregnant three years. It just depends on the woman's body. And uh, the question that I always get is, how do you know you're pregnant? How if you're pregnant, how come they can't see it? How come the doctors won't acknowledge it? Well, I'm not a doctor, so I don't know. But for me. My babies move. I see my babies on the sonogram. You know, obviously you see your body changing, your stomach getting bigger, and things like that. But you can only tell people, but, you know, you can tell people the entire story. You can tell people.